All right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. To give you guys an idea of how dumb I am, I thought that book was for real. I was looking for it on Amazon. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna be part of a character reveal. Oh, that's cute. By the way, I've never played any other Skullgirls game other than mobile. So yeah, I really don't know who this is, guys. I'm so sorry. Annie of the Stars. All right, and they're showing off her basic combo, which is basically the only combo I'm ever gonna learn. Okay, and. Oh, that looks like Beowulf's gigantic arm. Oh, what is that? Uh, all of her skills are available, so that was her character ability. Some kind of power-up and... Whoa, okay. All right. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This trailer is making me want to actually learn some combos now. You know? It, it looks pretty sick. Okay, is this her level 3 blockbuster? Oh, there's a stagger. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's her level 3 blockbuster, I think. Hmm. Yo! Airborne Shinku Hadouken! Alright, I'm sold, guys. I'm sold. Alright. Now, that was a sick character reveal. Great job. You know? I'm not shilling or anything. That was a really sick reveal, guys. You know, coming from a player who has no background outside of the mobile version. I'm pretty hype. I'm pretty hype. All right. Wait, there's more. Oh, all right. This is second encore, right? Congratulations, second encore players. You get Annie too. Nice. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I don't sound more hype. I'm actually really hype, guys. I just haven't graduated from YouTube acting class yet. All right. So I really wanted to go back to this part of the trailer in slow motion. This looks like her character ability. It's some kind of power-up. And every hit, she seems to be like throwing out literal stars and it's dealing some extra damage all right I, I have no idea what the scaling of this damage is if it's fixed or does it scale with your um attack stat but that might be really 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 strong so apparently there's like this star meter thing that you have to fill up first before it can activate so maybe it'll take time to activate so yeah here it is one last time yeah, she's shooting these star things that deal extra damage. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, let's check out the forums to see if they have um, actual notes on this character. Let's, uh, hold on, let's check it out. And here we go. Introducing Annie of the Stars. All right, so they have a post. Okay, behold. Okay, and a picture. Yeah, so I really like her character design. Um, I think she's the first Skullgirls mobile um, fighter with, with an actual sword outside of Misfortune when she does her Feral Edge, right? And mind you, Skullgirls mobile is the only fighting game I know that has more people fighting with their hair than with actual weapons. So cursed by the Skull Heart to never grow up, she has been alive for centuries. So is this, is this an FBI thing or not an FBI thing? Can I, can I simp her or not? <laughs> hey, man. I'm asking the difficult questions so you guys won't have to. You know, I'm taking one for the team. So yeah, I probably need developer confirmation before I make any more comments about her. Like, what's her actual age? Is she centuries old or is she a kid? Which one is it? All right. So until then, she's just a gender neutral uh, new fighter with pretty hype combos. So she made it her personal mission to stop the skull heart once and for all. Apparently that little bunny thing is her parasite. Hmm. Interesting story. And she also makes educational TV shows about the dangers of the skull heart. How does that work? Like, ew. Oh, hey kids, don't accept any floating, flaming skulls that grant wishes from strangers. You got that? All right. So yeah, we already watched the trailer. That's a soundtrack, I guess. And all right. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really cool looking stage. I really like the stage. Yeah, it looks like it has some cool cameos as well on the stage. Let's try to zoom in. Yeah, see, there's Peacock hiding on the stage. I see Parasol. I see Beowulf in the costume thing. Yeah, pretty cool looking stage. All right, here we go. Annie FAQ, um, release date. Yeah, they, they never give an exact release date, but it is within the next couple of months apparently. So that's not far off. So apparently it will be similar to Fuqua's launch back in 4.2. All right, so I have a few things to say about that. Um, I don't know if a dev is gonna be watching this, but um, 
Yeah. If they treat this exactly as how they did with the Fuqua release, then I wouldn't be too happy about it, okay? So when Fuqua was released in 4.2, it wasn't like, it wasn't 100% full release, right? Um, they didn't make her prize fight available, so no one could get her for free, first of all. No doppelganger relics were available, so you couldn't get guaranteed Fuqua pulls, right? You could only get her from premieres, from clone relics that have increased price, you know, that, that kind of stuff. So no, 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 my bad. You couldn't get it from premieres. You could only get it from exclusively from clone relics that give the increased chance. And the random um, paid packages that give you doppelganger relics once in a while, right? So long story short, um, the only way you could like really get a decent set of Fuqua fighters back in 4.2 was either by getting really lucky or paying real money. Those were like the only real two ways to get a Fuqua back in 4.2. And this, this part is going to be a hot take, okay? It's going to be a hot take. But I was okay with this decision. In fact, I like that decision from a business standpoint. I do. I think you should incentivize spending when a new character um, comes along. And if there are a lot of free options, if you release the price fight immediately, you inc um, release the doppelganger relics immediately, people who've been saving Theonite for months for free, you're just going to get Fuqua's for free without having to spend a cent. But here's what I wasn't happy about, okay? When 4.3 finally got released, and mind you, the time, the time gap between 4.2 and 4.3 was months. It was a really long time. And when the wait was finally over and, you know, the prize fight got released and everything, um, yeah, here's the part I don't like. They released the doppelgangers at a 50% markup. Uh, they were selling at 300 a piece with a 10 plus 1 at 3,000, Theonite. And this is what I wasn't happy with. Because they kind of held Fuqua back already for for so long. And then when they finally release her, they, they still mark it up. I, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. I'm, I'm still not happy. So yeah, I hope they don't do the exact same thing with Annie. Like, if we're going to have to wait for three months until we get a prize fight and a bunch of character relics available, it would be nice for the character relics not to be marked up when they're finally released, right? Or you could mark up the character relics but release them a little earlier. Like, don't do the three-month wait plus the markup. I feel like that was a bit too much. So yeah, so maybe on the devs end, you know, there, there's definitely something I'm missing. I don't know their side. And maybe that was like the only possible route to take at the time all i'm saying is as a consumer um having to wait three months for a product's release only for the product to be released after the long wait overpriced uh it kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth as a consumer and funnily i think this is still a hot take i know a lot of people who didn't even like the cloned relic system to begin with i think a lot of people wanted the prize fight and the character relics released immediately you know i wasn't one of them i just wasn't happy with the markup and the three month gap in combination right but yeah hopefully now with um annie's release since there's no like rift huge major rift updates to be made hopefully the wait won't be as long but that's just me, guys. That's just one person's opinion. And I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> this is such a hilarious FAQ. How is this even possible? It's an actual question in the FAQ. So yeah, basically, Fuqua was a success. So make a new character. So yeah, I'd like to add on that. I think one of the very few weaknesses of Skullgirls Mobile, or maybe Skullgirls as a whole, I, 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 don't, I don't know, but... I think one of the weaknesses is a narrow roster. 14 characters is not a lot for a 3v3 fighting game. I think widening the roster is a very good idea. So yeah, uh, yeah, she's coming to um, second encore next year. Yeah, we saw it in the trailer. All right, so was Lab Zero involved? Yes, they were. Not much to talk about there. 
and other other new characters in the queue we'll see that sounds like a no <laughs> so yeah apparently it will depend on how she performs on launch so yeah let's hope she performs well on launch because um not gonna lie guys this kind of game kind of needs to churn out new characters you know for longevity you can't just keep releasing variants of the same characters all the time you eventually have to release a brand new one and they have with fuqua and now annie so you know let's hope the trend continues let's keep supporting the game guys and you know since we're on the topic of new characters um i'm gonna have to add a very shameless and selfish plug i really want minette in the game okay i really want her in the game so bad so bad like even as just a support oriented fighter or something i don't know but i really want her in the game so bad as a playable character please make my dream come true <laughs> okay i'll stop i'll stop so yeah that's it guys new character annie coming soon so i'll leave a link to this um forum faq in the description and yep that's a wrap